It reached, when it reached the point of danger, it tried to soar, but it could not. The river's mist had frozen upon its wings, and so it miserably perished as the waters plunged over. All of us in here reach a point of danger. All of us in here get close to the point where we're about to go overboard, we're about to fall over the side and plummet forever. But thank God, God's there to pick us up. But what about those people that reach that point of danger and they think, they think I can soar on my own, I can make it on my own, and they try and they forget about God and they've drifted so far, they fall and they, they, they perish over Niagara Falls. I've come on my first time here in this pulpit today to beg you, please, we must pay closer attention to what we've heard in this building. We must pay closer attention to what we've seen in this building. The gospel truths and the values and the warnings that have been given to us, which have saved us and keep us. Our heritage has been given to us. We're drifting away from God and we don't even know it. This church needs to unite and it needs to come together under the leadership of these men, under the greatness of this church, and we need to go out and we need to show people what we have. We've drifted so far, we don't even, we don't even care to show what God has given us. There's hurting people outside those doors and we need to come together uh, under the influence of these men and we need to get out and show the world what we have. We've been so selfish to ourselves and we've drifted so far that we don't even know what we're doing. No one can tell the time or the place. No one knows when it's time for you. No one knows when God's going to call your number. Nobody knows when the Lord's going to come. Are you ready? Have you drifted so far that... God's going to come back and you're not going to be ready. No one knows the time, and I'm closing with this. There was a man out of this church, one of my very dear friends. He made sure that he and his, he and his life, his life and his family was right with God. He made sure they didn't drift, holding weekly Bible studies in his home. One of my very dear friends, and it was a man that loved to live on the edge, and his name is Jason Tackett. And one day while he was working on his four-wheeler in his backyard, putting a new equipment on it, he was testing it out. He had some complications, and Jason's four-wheeler went out of control, and his life was taken from us. A man that loved our pastor, loved me, brought up the room around him when he'd walk in, you could just notice there was something about him that you loved. And at the age of 17, I was a pallbearer for a very dear friend of mine. Elders, young people, new converts. Any one of us could be a Jason Tackett this morning. We could walk out those doors. We're not promised tomorrow. We don't know when God's going to call our number. You could walk out this, this room today or tonight. Somebody could cross that yellow line and you could be gone out of here. Are you ready? How far have you drifted from God? It's time to get your life back with Jesus Christ. Make a consecration to Jesus. Have you drifted so far that you don't even know where you're at anymore? Seems like nobody's there to help you. He's right there waiting. Any one of us could be a Jason Tackett this morning. Are you going to take advantage of being here this morning with the altar at the front? Is there anybody in this building that would love to come to the front and just say, God, I'm not going to drift back into this pool of sin anymore. I'm not going to forget where God found me. I'm not going to drift into hell. Is there anybody here this morning that will come to the front and make a commitment to Almighty God? Never turn back. I'm going to save myself here this morning and I'm going to walk out and save others. It's all about them. Get our, right, have to get our lives right with God. And it's about those people that are hurting outside. You drifting from God is taking away from somebody else's chance to be brought to Him. What are you going to do with it? You've got a chance this morning to get your life right with God. We're not promised tomorrow. Come to the 
front, please. I'm begging you. Get your life right with God. You know where it's not supposed to be, please. This could be your last chance. Couples walk down the aisle. That's it, walk this morning. That's it, couples walk down the aisle. That's it, parents bring your children. Come on. Come on, move out of the balcony. Sing it again, use choir. Sing it again. Oh, God bless you, Clifford. Come on. Oh. 